Hello, and welcome to yet another stream of Warhammer 40k with me, Boltish McEver, and... Me, Zarin Sunshine. It's Teamwork Tuesday! It's Teamwork Tuesday, and we're here for, once again, me not to know anything about Warhammer, and you to get really mad about everything. I hate it here. And yet we're here! Last time, we, our named commander, Rip Thicker... Uh, they were called to a place and everything was really bad. And things continue to be really bad no matter how much we win. In fact, things just got worse. And now, there are these things here called the Tyranids. Which are not Zerg. They were here first. They are original, do not steal. If we're being specific, uh, it's really more that they... Both drew inspiration from the same source, which was absolutely the Aliens movies. I see. And neither are particularly subtle about it, either. Hmm. But here's the question. Where did Aliens draw the well from? Uh, Aliens according to the creators, were inspired by real-life insects. Oh, that's fun. So the yeah. aliens were on Earth all along. Apparently. However, the Aliens franchise also had a lot of real, genuine world-building that went into it, whereas GW and uh, Blizzard just stole its homework. I see. It's still fun, though. Mm-hmm. Well, this zone is vaguely shaped like Australia. Oh, right, I have to click on it, because, yeah. So we're fighting the Eldar because they are trying to solve this problem, but didn't solve the problem very well and also attacked us first? Just try not to think about it. Oh, okay. It's totally stupid. Fair enough. <laughs> we're here. We're here to shoot because they were told to shoot. For the Emperor or something. That's pretty much how it works. If we think about our orders, that's heresy, I guess. I heard one beep, and it got cancelled. They go without Oh, it's, we're doing this again. So what we gotta do? Well, we gotta do... Do we have to try oh. to the other planet and travel back in order to be able to actually have it go? Video games sure are video games. It's still very broken, isn't it? <laughs> Did I lose Zare? Zare is sitting here spamming the button. Because she got to briefly work once and then accidentally quit out of it. I see. Okay, we have to travel. Okay. Yeah, I also had an issue where I what tried a to... strange bug. I also had an issue where I clicked on it and it wasn't working, so I clicked on it about seventeen more times than it just worked. But I imagine that's different if the cancel and start button are the same. Also, for people looking at this on the VOD, uh, nobody might show up in chat for a while because. Uh, my schedule on Twitch did not update for the daylight savings time that uh, America still has and loves so much, I guess. I thought I fixed it. I didn't. 
Once again, the schedule change did not save. But that's okay. Destroy the webway gate. Wait, it, it, Eldar travel using the internet? Honestly, that's not a bad way to thinking about it, actually. Hey, Metal Sheep. We don't love it at all. For some reason, we can't get rid of it. I... S uh, what? Uh, why did it bring me over there? Destroy the wo Destroy the internet. Got it. Okay, they look like they're over there. And now you're over there. My guys aren't shooting. Where's my other team? I thought I had both going at the same time. I didn't. Where's my... There it is. Okay. The guns are working. The guns are working. I forget all the buttons, but we're here. It's because the hotkeys are not very good. The grenade worked. But I also got hit by something hard. Oh, I can't throw the grenade yet. Throw another. Throw another. Ah, I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm just activating tactical advance over and over again. I'm not actually throwing grenades. Okay, I'll get the hang of this soon. I'll get the hang of this soon. Again, it's because the hockeys in this game are terrible. We also haven't played this game in a week. Okay, so E is the grenade. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Grenade, grenade. I like your mnemonic device. I don't... Oh, right, I have a rocket launcher now. We did that last time. I completely forgot. Okay, so we're actually going to come here. Off to the right. Okay. So we can go get the shrine quick. The right, you say? Banshees. Oh, my rocket is just hitting the stairs. Where are you guys? Over here. Okay. Maybe if I... Nope, I'm not allowed to stand on that ledge, apparently. There's not enough ledge. Is there friendly fire? Ah, only on explosions. I see. Is my rocket launcher an explosive? <laughs> Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> I hate this. Okay. I don't know if uh, the rocket launcher is necessarily what I need then. Because, um... Bear in mind that we are, like, made of health. Are you... You say that as you complained about that guy's, like, paper health last time. I also if you're unable to focus fire when I... Alright, I'll move forward. Alright. Oh, a tank. Oh, good. I have things for that. You do, too. Wait, F is the grenade. You know Not... what we do with tanks? 
You punch we them? punch them. Oh, I'm getting beat up real bad. I see. Can you guys, like, turn slightly to the left, please? Okay, we're going okay now. Hell Sheep says, Drive me closer! I want to hit them with my sword! Yeah, I've seen that before. Was that originally a Warhammer thing? Yes, it was. I see. Like, I don't know, I've seen, like, every other game that has a tank re-adapt that meme to its own format. But if the origin is Warhammer, then neat! It's making... It's not fun exactly, because people don't make as much fun of Warhammer as they should. <laughs> they tend accidentally to take it seriously. Mm. When it's not entirely meant to, at least not in its original sense. Oh no. Or what is my grenade button? F. I keep. I want it to be E. I really want it to be E. It's not E. The grenade button is not E. It's F for frag. But it's an energy grenade. So it's an energy frag. Gr I mean, bear in mind that it's not a directed energy grenade. You're just spending energy instead of supplies to use it. 40k is just wild. Yeah, it's... It's really, really, really dark. It's really dark. I've tried to look at it, and I just got really depressed, so I couldn't look at it very much anymore. Like, the future one is a lot more depressing than the, the, his, uh, the older one. That's mostly because the fantasy one is just about pure nonsense. Instead of depressing, it just manages to, like... F. Kind of be dumb. Maybe I should summon artillery on that. Maybe, maybe I should... Okay, artillery's button is C. What? That doesn't look like he's coming down. Uh, Metal says, you know little or nothing of Warhammer Fantasy. You, uh, usually when anybody mentions Warhammer, they mean 40k in your experience. That's typically what happens. Where am I, actually? I should probably handle the group that's right in front of me. We're taking some damage, but that's alright. Mostly to just have something that keeps knocking me back. Yep. Just keep shooting him with the gun. Actually, no, maybe if I retreat a little bit, I'll be able to... Wait, okay, I see what's going on. They're leaving and then jumping back into melee using an ability. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were getting banshee'd. Yeah, it just keeps happening. I think I'm good now. I think I'm good now. Fon says, I understand the naming convention. What, of uh, the 40k units? Is it the episode? Is it the episode you understood the naming convention of? Oh, yeah. Because yes. Bolt was very sure nobody would. I'm glad you get it. Thank you for understanding my sense of humor.
Oh, no, you're just charging where I threw a grenade. I'm I'll so be sorry. fine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is Rex Thicker we're talking about. Rip Thicker or Rex Thicker? I forget. Rex Thicker. Though it could have been Rip Thicker. I hate this rocket launcher. It never hits anything. It only ever shoots the ground. I mean, you'll be glad we have it once we start fighting orcs again. Hit that guardian. Uh, just get what? <laughs> okay, I am being suppressed. It's not actually hitting me because they're hitting the terrain. But I'm being Hit suppressed. Hit the stop being suppressed button. Oh, right. I have that. That's you. Thanks for reminding me that I have a button to just... You're welcome. Stop dealing with mechanics. No, don't concern... Kill this. Don't walk up to it. You have a rocket launcher. What are you doing? Avatus <laughs> is extremely dumb. Goodness sake, I hate man. him. Goodness sake. I'm also not commanding him very well, but just uh, there was a gate there. Go. Wait, does he have limited rockets? Yeah. I hate this gun. I hate this gun. I date like a consumable as your auto attack. Oh no. Rockets unlimited. We okay. now need to go south again. Wait, okay, so we don't kill these things. The barriers? No, we don't care about them. Okay, all right, I was attacking and killing barriers. Like, that's what I had to do. <laughs> In fact, uh, we can use the barriers ourselves if they're positioned right, but... Oh, and it, like something invisible popped on you. Yeah. Rangers do that. Not because the unit actually works that way. Uh, the AI just cheats. I see. Uh, so I guess we go this way? Sure. Oh, are you fighting down there? I should probably... You know what? You guys go. You guys can scoot. Advance using cover. Throw a grenade at them. Oh, that's a tank. Okay. Uh, you know what? I have artillery. Ah! Why did you go that way? I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll come help. Retreat. No, it's fine. I have artillery. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi? Uh, we're we're leaving. We're yes, leaving. I'm leaving. Yep, that tank is uh. Ah, I picked a bad fight, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, come over here. There's there's a reinforcement station right yeah, over by you. I see a beacon up. I see a beacon. I'm going for it. All of my bullets are hitting the terrain. <laughs> Move forward five feet. Now. Uh, oh. That's that's not the beacon I meant. What? You've, you've found the boss. Goodness sake. This beacon? Oh, you're getting your reinforcements. What? There was a, okay, there's a beacon right here, okay? There's a beacon right here. You walked past another beacon to get to it. I didn't see it, okay? It was covered by this giant tree. <laughs> we win? <laughs> Mission failed successfully.
Uh, Temple Wolf says, uh, Why? We apparently have no game audio. There's no game audio? What? Hold on. Why is there no game? <sighs> Just a moment. I can maybe fix this. Why would there be no game audio? Hold on. Is this... Oh! Sarah, this is so stupid. Yeah? The, um... Huh, no, it's just not capturing game audio at all. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, it got rid of the audio capture source. It got rid of the audio capture source. Well, sorry, everybody. Once again, I have audio issues on the stream. Once again, we have audio issues on the stream. This stream particularly, for some reason. Who knows? There should be audio now. In fact, it might actually be a little bit loud. Twitch stream problems. Okay. Uh. These things happen. So the Eldar were uniting the orcs to slow down the Tyranids. Yes, Nemerian clearly knew of the Tyranids. This explains much, but we have been getting reports of other Eldar activity in the sector that is not related to the orcs. Clearly, the Eldar have other plans in motion, none of which can be good for us. So I'm sorry, I will keep you apprised of any started. further yeah. developments, Commander. Adios what back. can you I... tell us about the Tyranids, Cyrus? The Tyranids are unlike any other threat we have faced, Targus. Orcs may operate in vast hordes, but they still have individual chieftains that unite them. Kill these chieftains, and the Orc horde is weakened and scattered. A Tyranid hive fleet, however, is a single massive organism. Every creature in the swarm is simply one part of a single terrifying mind. We cannot break the Tyranids' morale or take advantage of their pride. We cannot make them see reason. And for every beast we kill, a million more are ready to take its place. But what do they want? The Hive devours entire worlds. Its goal is to feed itself and grow. And it will not stop until the entire galaxy is consumed. Commander, the Orcs continue to undermine our defenses on Calderas. We need to shore up these defenses if we are to have any hope of stopping the Tyranids. Okay. So. It sounds like the solution to the Tyranid problem is, uh, there isn't one. That is what the game would have you believe. That is what the lore would have you believe. Okay. However, as you might expect, we are going to find a solution to the Tyranid problem simply by virtue of the fact that this is a video game and we have to win at some point. I see. Uh, Fawns asks, have either of you played Monster Hunter between Christmas and now? Yes, I played some world. I helped out another uh, streamer for a little bit. I believe, uh, I believe their name is like CW Devarian. They're a fun time. They're also very high energy. I cannot always handle high energy. They're a be they're a wonderful and beautiful person, though. As for Rise, no, no, I've not played any Rise. <laughs> Uh, according to Steam reviews, Captain add DRM. Okay, so here's the thing. That DRM is less obtrusive than the DRM that was already there. Furthermore, I play Monster Hunter Rise on the Switch, so that won't affect me there. However, that DRM does not play nice with the Steam Deck. 
It might be resolved now, but that DRM does not allow Capcom games to work on the Steam Deck. Last I read. So fortunately, I'm not playing on that. But otherwise, no, it hasn't affected me. Uh, oh, are we, are we... I need to level up. Well, let's see. I want you... I think I need health. I think I need health, because I died to a tank. Now I can taunt! I don't want to, but I could. Uh, I think I need more gun. Okay. I think I'm good. Looking at Tarkus... Uh... Your single biggest damage increase is going to be if you get the third upgrade in the health pool. Ah. There's uh, one right, so to upgrade them. Okay, so I just need to start pumping health with him. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, we're going to re re replace Avatus one day. We're not there yet. Yep. So I'm just going to keep on increasing his damage by increasing his damage. Mm-hmm. You're going to cost so much robo as soon as the game installs. Uh, you're going back to Gundam. I see! There was a time when I tried to like Gundam. It's a fine franchise. But I could not... <laughs> I could not digest the plot of it. I could not digest the plot of it. I'm sure if I tried to watch it, like, earnestly now, I probably could have digest it, because when I first was introduced to Gundam, it was like, what, like 25 years? Oh, I'm old. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. The combat scenes look really cool, the mechs look great, I like the tactical fights they have. I don't really understand the politics of it. I don't really understand the politics of Gundam. I'm sure it's really deep and riveting, but just like Warhammer lore, I, I need to be able to parse it. I need to be able to, like, actually, like, look at something about it. Like, trying to understand it while just watching a show was not working for me. I've not watched many full seasons of Gundam. Plot is weird. Robamek, on the other hand, is fun. Yes! A message is coming in from Chapter Command. Commander, this is Gabriel Angelos aboard the Battle Barge Litany of Fury. I have received word of the Tyranid threat facing Subsector Aurelia and of Captain Thule's grave condition. The Tyranids are a threat of unimaginable proportions, Commander. They are endless in number and intent on consuming whole worlds. We do this. The Litany of Fury is now making for Aurelia at all speed, but we are weeks away. I will relay all distress signals back to you while we devise a plan of attack. Uh, let's see, that's purple. Yep. Story and mission! We have located Captain Thule's attacker. The warrior beast that you drove into the Badlands has By which we mean that something is going to change after this. Tyranids. Okay. This is our first chance to strike back at the Tyranid enemy, and we cannot pass it up. I don't Collecting remember what from this creature's we unlock at this point. To a cure for Captain anyway, fun and fact, give us uh, that character who just talked to us feet. is the main character this of the first Dawn of War game. Infested, Commander, so be prepared for heavy resistance. Which was much more of a traditional RTS. And was later brought back to be the main character, one of the main characters. Of the third Dawn of War game, which was... Let us say that it got mixed reviews. I know you say the flavor's not good. We're fighting Tyranids. I want to try using it. I did not say the flamer is not good, in fact. And... Flamer's ac actually quite good against Tyranids. Yeah, I'm going to equip the flamer for this mission.
So he's at the brick in the back, like. The third game is out, right? The third game is out. Yes, it is. So we're bringing him back for like, what, a DLC or? Sorry, I was looking at weapons. Uh, more specifically, he is one of the three main characters of Dawn of War 3. Okay. The only thing I ever remember seeing about Dawn of War 3 was, like, one of the initial launch trailers where everybody was, like, dying and falling inside of a pit. It's a really good trailer, actually. Just like... if, if you have not seen the Dawn of War 3 uh, trailer, I recommend you look at it because it is a fantastically made piece of digital cinematography. Um... Pretty average RTS? That video is phenomenally well made. I remember looking at that, I was like, I, like how... Uh, it tells you nothing about the game. Like, it, it sure was art, but like I, like, I looked at that, I'm like, I do not feel motivated to play this game. <laughs> it was the kind of thing that would only get you to play the game if you already know, one, that you like Dawn of War games, at least nominally, and or are a 40k fan. Mm. Uh, because in terms of gameplay, the big reveals were the stuff that was going to be in the game. Rather than what the gameplay was going to be like. Are we ready? Yeah. Wow, the button worked. This time. Yeah, these. Now that you mentioned it, they do kind of look alieny. Mm hmm. I look at the Zerg and I don't see an alien, but I see. I look at the Tyranid and I'm like, eh. The alien's inspiration with the Zerg uh, was much more vibes. Meanwhile, this looks like more of a sideways rip of like, copy the whole uh -huh. and change it a little. Target the larger creatures to disrupt the swarm. That will buy us the time to get to our target. Didn't he just Captain say that we will that would work? Vengeance. Weapons ready to glory. Yeah. Uh, so what Cyrus is not quite explaining to us here. Also, we want to go right. Okay. Uh, is that the Tyranids have this mechanic called synapse in the game? I think it might be one of their tabletop rules as well. But I'm not an expert on the tabletop game by any means. Uh. Wherein, if they are near a, for lack of a better term, major Tyranid unit, uh, they get a boost to a couple things. However, if a major Tyranid unit dies near them, they briefly become confused and take that knockback that you just saw. When you killed that... Whatever it was. I sure threw a grenade at something. Yeah, the enemies don't like Tyranids. No, they do not. Tyranids are very vulnerable to area damage. <laughs> the flamethrower is working. Yep. Oh, it's area good. damage. Wait, does that also hurt my team, though? Nope. Oh, thank goodness. Because they were doing it like right on my other guys. I just want to fail. The balance of this game is very funny because uh, the way the AI plays Tyranids, Space Marines kind of hard counter them. Enemy destroyed. 
However, they would not normally be relying on quite this many trash units. So this is not as hard as it should be for us right now. Like what you all three snapped at the good location and not the Gah. Understood. Gah. really hate them. They cause suppression, they cause explosions, they can e really easily stun on things. I'll be able to throw another grenade one day. That's a lot of damage. I will be able to throw another grenade one day. You know what? Have this. Enjoy. Oh, I'm gonna that. Yeah, that ground sweeper, uh. Oh, they're, not wrong. they're rough. It's just Thaddeus being made of paper. <laughs> Alright, I got my guys back. Back to full Okay, now that I don't have to worry about these stairs, the rocket launcher's working. So rocket launchers are bad on maps that have stairs. Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. Let fly. Under attack. Devastator Marine. Oh, I hate the mines that like float towards you. They're so annoying. The grenade landed, and then you landed. Get to that, position. that went great. Okay, we're gonna head approximately to the center of the map next. Okay? Because we want to kill more stuff. Oh, there's okay. There's another sphincter. I got it. I've got the punching fist. We just put on the infinite health button. We have a. Uh... I'll have my guys help out with the range things. Okay. Oh, 
What is this? The spit. They come from behind? Of course they came from behind. They always come from behind, don't they? Not very smart of them to try to do that directly into suppression units, but that is a thing they did. He always yells at me anytime he gets into melee. It's like, oh, I'm engaged. Which, fair enough. He has a gun. He's not supposed to fight with the fist. Destination confirmed. For chapter and I will adjust your positions. Taking position in the box. You said the middle of the map, right? Reposition. I went the wrong way. You guys can scoot, that's good. Adjust your positions. You're getting in there, that's fine. Tarkus awaiting orders. I think last time we played this, I played the melee guys. I must have been in the movie. Did I just... Finding so much dreadnought equipment, we don't have it yet. Yeah, no video games. That's a lot of little guys. Where are you? Nope, you cannot shoot over the bridge of the hill. Got it. Guys down there. Tarkas here. This way, brothers. Of these guys, keep on watching north or west. We're going west next, aren't we? No, we are west. Is under enemy attack. Ready. Little by little, we are thinning the swarm. Okay, now we just go straight up because it's not really quite. North. <laughs> I have my orders. Tactical gotcha. squad repositioning. Weapons ready. Tactical marine. Come on, alien. Oh, jeez. All right, that's one of those. All right. Uh, on. run away. Dude. What I got or not. I'm pretty sure you just currently have regular flamer. No mercy for the misguided. Brothers, fire. Heading out. Don't, don't, for, shoot the. Okay, there we go. 
Okay. Now we about, can just go straight up and fight the boss. Think about the units in this game. For people who are looking at me controlling this, like, why is he not shooting? They shoot things automatically while they are moving towards them. They do not shoot things while they are running away from them. And anytime there's those dots on screen, that's my mouse vaguely nearby a position that might potentially maybe have cover. And I cannot reposition the dots. Nope. It just does whatever it wants. Which is a point of frustration for me, because sometimes the cover, they, they use the bad side of the cover. So I lose a lot of damage because my guys are stuck in melee, but I can't... Ah, okay. Once we have the Dreadnought, all your woes will be resolved. Are you I sure promise. That? Yes. Okay. Our weapons are there okay, the boss site. Destroy it. Advance on the game. We killed something so much bigger this. Yeah. Well, the flamethrower seems to be working, if nothing else. Like, the health is literally melting. Why it's on fire. That's why I'm not Yeah, your guy doesn't look like he's having much fun, though. Yes, that's oh, okay. Get out of there. Get out of melee. Use gun. Nope. Clear that area. I would love to. I've knocked on my butt. Boss's behavior is so annoying. Fortunately, I have increased range. So at least one of my groups of ranged units is able to stand there and spray bullets. His primary attack activity is to walk around. Oh no, my guys! Get out of that speed. Okay. He has cover, I guess, but... Does fire care about cover? Fire does penetrate cover. Excellent. The wall does nothing. I got it, I got it. Okay. I'll just move a little further. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, damn it. Yeah. Stop I got it, I got it. Any enemy eats biscuits, this is good. This again. No, 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 no. I can't throw a grenade. Because it's just still my teammates. Be in melee. Get out of there. Brothers, no, no, now really get out of there. Oh good. 
to that position, brothers. Keep a tight grouping. Don't, don't punch it. Just, just, just. Just. Come on. Uh, it has so little health. So little health. Come on, just stop being. In I want to shoot the thing. I don't want to. I will scour the galaxy of all tier editions. Just use the flamethrower for two seconds. I just. I have no health. Well Finally! Apothecary Gordian has dispatched servitors to collect and analyze the warrior's corpse. Our librarians have also consulted the more complete records aboard the I'm not sure if you saw Fury. that from... With this oh, information, we have devised a plan of attack against the High Fleet. Oh. Victory is but a prelude to the next battle. Alright, well... We got the thing. We got another missile launcher, because why not? Everything Despite died. having a better missile launcher already. Don't worry about it, I guess. Extra deployment available, neat. We got a lot of stuff, but we can't use, like, what, a sixth of it? Tyranids have a simple and terrible agenda, Commander. Left unchecked, they will kill and consume every living thing on the planet. Our only hope of stopping the Tyranids is to strike at the heart of the Hive Fleet itself. That's a posture stretch. For us to do this, you must first accomplish three critical tasks. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. Only its precise scans will allow us to analyze the Hive Fleet and locate its weaknesses. You must also obtain a sample of the Hive Fleet's biotoxins. Only a pure gene sample will allow us to develop a poison to strike at the Hive Fleet. And you must secure access to Angel Forge on planet Meridian. Only this ancient forge's vast manufacturing capabilities will allow us to produce weapons with which to deliver our poison. Each of these tasks pits your handful against untold billions. But failure means the utter annihilation of our worlds. And a death sentence for our chapter. Okay, so plan is to poison the great big giant flesh ball into space. Commander, we need to yep. take direct control of Angel Forge. I'm authorizing you to travel to Meridian. With its own the poison. The planetary governor has been less than cooperative thus far. So be prepared for bureaucratic resistance. Which it should be immune to. Angelos out. Listen, this is 40k. We're not required to make sense. It's like, <sighs> not part of the game. Okay. <laughs> like you would think it being like the super ultra evolving whatever it is that the second we get the poison it would be like oh it plans to use the poison against me and then like adapt itself to become immune to its own poison if it wasn't already which it should be immune to its own poison right that's ah okay brain off brain off okay Thank you for the short the hydrate. You, you have to think stupider. <laughs> okay. Flamer back off. Energy thing back on. I think I put it here. Yeah, plasma gun. Put that back on. Good. Good. Okay, so we had a flamer. We had a better flamer. That's fine. We don't need that. How about you? Anything for you? No. Okay. So the difference between the missile launchers is... Uh... 
accuracy versus no level requirement. And a difference of, like, not even 10 damage. Honestly, the missiles are very inaccurate. I think I need the accuracy. Yeah. Let's get rid of the regular missile launcher. Uh, the other missile launcher would have been nice if we ever played the game again, because at no level requirement, you could have just threw it on immediately. Mm-hmm. But we don't need that. We need other... We need, like, stats. Oh, that leveled me. Okay, uh... Well... Accurate from cover! Finally! Finally, we can maybe have accuracy. Sometimes. I fire from out in the open a lot because, uh, cover gets destroyed. But if I do manage to have cover for five seconds, I can actually hit with three bullets. Also, the guy we're not using is leveled up because we destroyed some equipment. That's fun. I think he was going for maximum, uh... Mark target. Oh no, you're spinning. Okay. Yeah, I think he- I think he was going for mark target. Almost there! A little bit of a glass cannon on that guy, but that's okay. And this guy was going for... health. Okay! Good enough. More random experience from throwing things away. Good. Is there... Uh, what is the process that you're using to determine what gear we throw away? Stats, level, the what the abilities in blue do. Okay. You think the Space Marine would have figured out accuracy out after 40,000 years? Yeah. Apparently, aiming a gun is really hard when you have surgically augmented limbs. Oh, oh they surgically augment way more than their limbs. Space Marines are so stupid. For being the quote-unquote pinnacle of humanity, they sure don't have a lot of humanity left in them. Why is that ever a understatement of the millennium? Like, okay, look at this armor. Look at this armor. Look, think about the proportions of a person. Then look at this armor. A person doesn't fit in this. A person doesn't fit in this. Like, even the Space Marine armor that's in, uh, that's in Warcraft, or Starcraft, rather. Like, they kind of make sense because they, like have a little bit of, ro of robotically augmented uh, portion set, like a person could theoretically fit inside of it, maybe? No, the person has to be, like, altered to have, like, extra hinges, extra, like, connections inside their body to be able to fit in this thing. Thank you, Fawns, for mentioning one of my least uh, enjoyed parts of Space Marines, the fused rib cage. I see. Fun fact, for those who haven't thought it all the way through, if the bones of your rib cage were fused, you would be unable to inhale. Or exhale. Yeah, the organs need room to move. The bones would not be flexible enough, and it would result in your entire breathing apparatus be paralyzed, being paralyzed Unless they were strong enough to break the rib plate. In which case, Which then you doesn't have other make bones. a lot of sense. And also, they would break your ribs every time you breathed. Excruciating pain for the rest of your life. It's not even that. You just become a space marine and suffocate to death. I didn't say how long the life would be. Very short! Yes. 
It is not my absolute least favorite thing about Space Marines. There are other problems. But it is one of the glaring oversights. The many, many glaring oversights. I'm ready to move on. It looks like we've done as much as we can on the planet for now. I'm sure there will be problems later. Oh, always. So where are we going, actually? I'm actually still sorting inventory. Was Meridian where the uh, the factory was? I think we needed to do the factory to be able to get the other guy. Yeah, you know what? Let me actually look it up. Because I remember there was a problem last time we played. We didn't get much further than this last time. We didn't get much further than this. Like, life happened, and then we had to stop playing. But now we're playing this again for a different reason. So what was the problem we had last time? We wanted to be able to get to the Great Big Arbor Man... We could not quite get to the Great Big Arbor Man because the path that you thought that took us to it was roadblocked by some other plot yes. from other places. So, I had thought we get the Dreadnought specifically after one of the three uh, objectives it gives us. Yeah. Actually, it gives us after all three of the objectives it's given us. Okay. So it's a very late game unit. Not as late game as you might think, uh, but late game. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is go to Meridian. Meridian it is, okay. And while we are flying through space, I'm actually going to run to the bathroom quick. Don't worry. Because I drank a lot of water. Sure, I have some cutscene to listen to. Release flow. Meridian stands at the very heart of Subsector Aurelia. Billions call its cities home. Its factories and forges are keys to victory against the Tyranids. Ah, uh, one of those city planets. We must not allow Meridian to fall. Shouldn't the Tyranids just look at the city planet and go, like, too crunchy and leave? Maybe they don't care about that? Commander, welcome to Meridian Orbit. My name is Elena de Rosa. Governor Vandis has assigned me to be your liaison while in system. This is not the hinterlands of Calderas or Typhon, Commander, so a certain amount of discretion would be appreciated. It is imperative that we secure access to Angel Forge, Administrator DeRosa. Yes, so your Captain Angelos has said. Angel Forge is the most important manufacturing facility in the sector, however. Its use follows a strict schedule set by Governor Vandis and his Privy Council years in advance. Nevertheless, there may be a way to arrange special access to Angel Forge. Meridian has recently come under repeated attack from Eldar Raiders. They have already inflicted substantial damage to parts of our communication and supply infrastructure. The Imperial Guard forces stationed on Meridian are already tied down, suppressing food riots in the lower city. They do not have the manpower to deal with the Eldar as well. Were you to employ your special expertise in such matters and repel these raids, Governor Vandis believes he could arrange limited access to Angel Forge. Eldar sightings will be transmitted to your planetary display. DeRosa, out. Commander, I left Meridian decades ago, but this is typical behavior. The nobility has always closed its eyes to problems in the Undercity. The Eldar must have raided wealthy spires for the noble houses to even acknowledge a problem. They will acknowledge it when the sky darkens with Tyranid spores and hive ships. 
On that subject, Commander, initial scans indicate no Tyranid activity whatsoever on Meridian. No activity at all. No mutated plants or slaughtered wildlife. No atmospheric changes. None that we can detect. Check your sensors again, Martellus. Hive fleets do not ignore worlds in their paths. Like I said, maybe they thought it was too crunchy. Comes on chainsword. Yummy metal! Oh, fair enough. Some people crave the crunch. Some people crave the crunch. But, like... Hmm. They did say something was wrong with the uh, communications array here, right? So maybe that's why there's been no Tyranid reports. That's my line of thinking. But again, Zer says I think too much while I'm playing this game. So, like, I don't know. I don't know. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Hi, welcome back. So why are we not detecting tyranny here? Is it because the communications array is down? Yep. Okay, fair enough. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would. Commander, I would keep it a secret, but you just called it. So yeah, Meridian's that's what's happening. Infrastructure. They have just silenced a major uh, communications the, array used the, by the Meridian's noble houses. The bitch lady is gonna houses. freak the fuck the out once we have it. also pilfered from nearby storage vaults. A powerful Eldar hover tank is leading these attacks, and the Imperial Guard has thus far been unable to stop it. If these raids continue, planetary defenses could be seriously compromised. Like, okay, I have a brain. I Chat, why are you saying cursed shit? Tinfoil on teeth. I mean, it's because, like I said earlier, like, why would the Zero even want to eat this place? It's just, it's a, it's a machine city, right? So, like, it's just metal. But no, they, they crave the crunch. Apparently, Tyrion did just crave the crunch. See, once again, Bold, you have to think stupider. <sighs> All right. This is the exact reason I can't have fun with 40k. I can't think this stupid. Uh. And I'm not even particularly smart, okay? I'm not even particularly smart, but, like, even this is, like, w like, what are they getting out of it? I mean, like, a tyranny... Grimdark. All right. They're getting Grimdark. All right, just, just, please just start the map. <laughs> uh, hell... Ostensibly, I suppose they want to eat the people, but, like... All right, going to try and eat a machine world is, like... Going to try and eat, like, pond algae. Like, no, not even that. Going to eat, like, a dirt and crust a piece of coal. Stay alert. The Eldar strike without warning. All right, Eldar it is. Orders for us. Which direction? We're on the east side of the map. Looks like we have to go south. Uh, south, I think. Quick! Attack to get to that position, brothers. Is there any cover anywhere? No. Okay. Meridian is actually pretty good about giving cover, which is one of the reasons I like it. I don't love the fact that it is constantly raining. Target in sight. What the fuck do you mean, target in sight? This is one objective of three!
Oh, we have cover here. Thanks. I have, I have a bed. But we're taking damage now the cover has been destroyed. Great! The cover always goes! Cover never survives. Nope! This is why I didn't want that ability. They maybe get more damage from more accuracy from cover. It's just silly to me. That's grenade! 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 I see it. It's just a matter of they need to turn around. Alright, there's technically like three pieces of cover here. Oh, they're coming from behind. I got it. Okay, I'll grab what little cover remains. Do we want to capture this, or do we want to capture a different building? Uh, we capture this. Okay, move on. Oh, a Wraith Lord. I'll punch a Wraith Lord. I don't give a shit. Okay, so you're tiny fist against that thing's giant blade. Is that just the Eldar equivalent of whatever you are? Uh, it's more like it's the Eldar equivalent of a Dreadnought. In this game specifically, it's also their best unit. Okay. Uh. This is Abitus. Not for the reasons you would think. It is because Wraith Lords can be equipped with either suppression weapons or tank killer weapons as ranged options. And so, when you're a player, the optimal removed. tactic is combat. to make just a bunch of Wraith Lords, pack them with uh, tank killer lasers, melee anything that's not a tank, uh, and tank. shoot to death anything that is. Tank! Dang it, dang it, dang it, ow. It's dead. Listen, okay. Eldar I, tanks are super flimsy. I did shoot artillery at it. Tactical school stay loose for and that's why it got on us. <laughs> I thought the artillery would do more. I do have to say, uh, Wraith Lords have, like, a great aesthetic overall. It's just a good design. They're real funky looking. They did look right. They did look very neat. And then he punched into that. Then that's my job. I can't shoot upstairs. Uh. I need to get the enemy that was up the stairs to come down towards the, the gun unit. If you get a chance, if you could grenade the sniper in the bunker over there. The bunker, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get to. But there's so much in the way of it. I did throw artillery on it. Okay, is that the sniper done? I think the sniper's done. I took a lot of damage, but the sniper's done. Position. Yep, the cover's gone. Oh, the map has so much cover. It's in the city. It's gone. Eldar grab tank. Fire prism class. Uh, 
Yep, 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 that tank is... Aha! 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 I'm getting banshee really bad! I don't know if I'd be able to play this game single player because, like, Magic 2 guys is a lot. Magic 4 guys? Tactical squad, return fire. I would definitely have to go even slower. Something, anything, come on. Uh, going into the building seems like the worst idea. It's certainly right. Yeah, turret. You know what? That's a good point. I have turrets. I have turrets. Thank you. Thank you, Timber Wolf, for reminding me that I have a turret. Turret is shooting sometimes. There it is. They're just hidden behind the shield right now. I think the generators actually give them a buff rather than defense, but I could be wrong. I am losing so much. <laughs> okay, now my guys died. Come on. Okay. They ran away. Going somewhere else. I think we're already really dead. We need to run away. We need to run away. I need to go back to a generator. Yep. Go ahead. Oh, okay, this thing down here. This. Yeah, they don't like when I throw grenades. It's crazy how that works. Okay, back in it. Back in it. Book it back. Oh, grenade, 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 grenade. I don't like when they throw grenades either. Crazy how that works. What is that? Uh, that was a ranger with a sword for some reason. Okay. You know what that gets me in? That gets me in like tabletop too. Like, why are rangers supposed to protect the range, and that's why they use a melee weapon? I thought they were supposed to be experts of ranged combat, and thus are called rangers. And yet, just a bit, huh? And yet, most are supposed to be like depicted with dual wielding. In tabletop, I think what winds up happening is more a case of Rangers just being the other dex class and having taken their name uh, from Tolkien. It's always Tolkien. Uh, with Aragorn the Ranger. Brothers, we go. How can we serve? Stay alert. Reposition. This is Avatus. Who was, in fact, a man who ranged. 
I see. More than a ranged fighter. Oh, one of my guys was able to shoot. Our weapons are ready. Repositioning. Oh, F. Let fly. Thank you. Oh wow, that fully killed the building. Oh. Do I have three grenades or something? I guess. Or is it a really bad thing? You know, I don't know. Also could be. I also don't know why there's the wreck of a predator here, considering that We aren't supposed to be here, but okay. Okay, map designers. What's a predator? Space Marine tank. So did the Air did the Eldar kill the? No, did no. You said we're not supposed to be here. Yeah. Huh. I don't. I don't know what one of our tanks is doing here. But this red tank up here where my people are, uh, that's, it. that's one of our tanks. Tactical it's got the little orders. bird with the blood. Oh, that is very specifically our chapter's tank. Yeah. Yeah, why is that here? Not I mean, clear. The only thing I can think of is, like, this is a machine war, right? So they made the tank. And I guess in the panic of the attack, they tried to defend with it? Tactical squad. Seems like a stretch considering how 40k lore is about other people using, even being able to use Space Marines equipment. Which is to say that, like, the writers go out of their way to make it seem like nobody can use Space Marine equipment except Space Marines. Until they can. I guess we have to go there, okay. Commander, we do not yet have additional field generators ready. You need to wait until your next deployment to secure another strategic asset. How much do I have to pay Martellus to never say that voice line again? I don't think we're paying him. You probably just don't like since you're investing in that voice line. Mr. Rocket Launcher cannot hit anything because stairs exist. Okay. Back to the shadows, Eldar. Launched under Hawks for extraction. This victory will long be remembered in the Halls of Glory. Well, it... Hey, a shotgun. That's for the guy we don't use, yeah? Yeah. The one who's objectively better than Thaddeus. Honestly, if Thaddeus could aim the dang rocket launcher at the time when the rocket launcher hits, he's great. Pilot Benetio of House Toral passes on his thanks, Commander. He looks forward more to the recovery than that, he of his stolen goods and the repair of the damaged array. Is this liaison unaware that a Tyranid Hive fleet is descending upon this sector? We are currently reviewing the full extent of the Tyranid threat, Sergeant. We have yet to find evidence that Meridian is in any real danger. Derosa out. Imperium tech priests have been working to restore an ancient astronomical array deep in the jungles of Typhon. If reports are accurate, this array is capable of detailed scans of an entire subsector. This data could allow us to uncover a critical weakness in the high fleet. We will have to make contact with the tech priests at their base camp on Typhon and ask for the location. Commander, Captain Angelos here. You must defend the capital world and secure Angel Forge. It will all be for naught, however if we cannot develop weapons with which to attack the hive mind itself. You must locate and secure the astronomic array hidden on planet Typhon. 
You must also obtain a sample of the High Fleet's biotoxins. Angelos out. They just wanted to have us rehear that again, didn't they? Uh huh. Okay. So now we can do anything. Now we can do any of the yep. objectives. We had to do this first, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so basically how it works is we have to complete all three quests and then we get a capstone quest for those three things together and then we get the dreadnought. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is go to Typhon. Okay. All right. All right, I'm feeling it. So let's. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, being in the passenger seat sure is weird. I'm sorry you don't get to drive on your own stream. No, it's okay. It's just like... Are we moving? Suddenly warps to a planet. Planet Typhon okay. orbits a star on the outer edge of subsector Aurelia. Its lush jungle canopy shrouding it in mystery. Well, it looks nice. Is this where the dinosaur race comes from? Among this beauty lie the no. keys to our salvation. There's no dinosaur race and in 40k. The roots of our destruction. Commander, we have located the Tech Priest base camp, but it is in grave danger. An orc mob is heading straight for their location. We cannot let the orcs reach the Tech Priest base camp. If the tech priests are killed, we may never find the astronomic array. Back to fighting orcs. Got it. Yep. We are killing Commander, a tank. we have located the tech priest base camp, but it is in grave danger. So, An orc you will absolutely want the location. plasma rifle These green so that we can reduce the tank's armor when we fight it. Small communities and outposts. Their leader calls himself Gorwaza. And he I will need the fist. A powerful looted tank. We cannot let the orcs reach the tech priest base camp. If the tech priests are killed, we may never find the astronomic array. Stop Gorwaza before he gets to the base we camp. We can't actually use the majority of our weapons. <laughs> All right. Well, can we upgrade anybody's armor? I am using the plasma rifle. No, we can't. That's fine. Okay, great. In that case, Ray, what do you are? Boss Gore Waza. Oh, good. More rain. My favorite. Rest in peace, bit rain. The plant looked a lot better in the cutscene. Yeah. I imagine that's always the case, but you know. Oh, absolutely. Also, is it just me, or is the Commander, rain just like must hurry. Gorwaza is already at the base camp. a single pillar that is surrounding the camera? Position on your display. Yep. Quickly, before we are too late. Okay. North, north. Okay, I heard an engine rev. Ah, good. Enemy has his pit. Oh yeah. Is that you're in the building? Oh 
Oh, I guess there is a guy that came behind me. Yeah, thank you. I, I guess I am not using cover. This is a cover game. I just get bad for cover all the way. I can't find my map. There it is. Okay. For a while there, I lost my mouse. I was, like, where was I? That, on screen. That happens. Uh, on Typhon in the rain, specifically. That's a thing? That's just a thing. It, it's because there's so much rain, and the mouse cursor is so minimal. That it just looks all the same to your eyes. Uh. Our weapons are ready for honor. Are, are we going up and left? Yep. Okay, up and left. Got it. Generally speaking, our priority for getting buildings is uh, communications arrays first, then factories, then shrines. Because communication arrays give us more uses of artillery strike. Contemplating using it right now. are doing their job. Yeah, you're gonna be glad you have the rockets once we get to the tank. Rockets and plasma. Plasma thing. Plasma and power fist. Is there any other thing that we would have other than those three things that would be good against the tank? Uh, laser cannon. Or the big plasma. The DACA is a bit loud. Okay, um... That is an in-game issue. That is... Escape doesn't open the in-game options. Let's see here. Uh... Audio. So that would be sound effects, yes? Yeah. Down. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hopefully, that should help. I think... Field generators are deploying now, Commander. It might have just been loud simply because, um... Will not be available until the camera was right moment. above, like, three orcs that had Gatling guns. forces are coming under attack. Uh, that's my job. Oh, my guys went to the right. Stop advancing and use the gun. Box open. Okay. Still more orcs. Always more orcs. Uh, uh, these buildings might be a good target for an artillery strike. All right, yeah, you know what, yeah. Just... 
All right, I turned that section of game audio down. I don't hear any noticeable difference at all, actually. I reduced it by half and nothing. I think the DACA is just loud. I think the truck tried to run you over. The truck is running you over. Never mind, the truck ran into a rocket. More artillery. Uh, well, it didn't quite wipe it out. It's less overwhelming on this side. Okay, well, I'm glad you noticed. Often that I get to see that like level up just fly off the character. Yeah, it's surprisingly rare. All right, I think Target that's another building orders. that needs a grenade. Just walk up to it and throw. Just get the grenade right in there. Target destroyed. All right, wait for the grenade to come back up. Next building. Next grenade. This is evidence. Oh, you need some support. Okay. No mercy for the misguided. Uh, any other buildings? I think so. Yeah, that was a good rocket. Mark target destroyed. Get to that prison. Brothers, claim it for the chapter. Enemy armor, use cover. Enemy armor. Under suppression. That the truck is gonna run me over. Advance on the enemy, brothers. Just, just shoot. Just shoot. Okay, the truck is gone. I don't like getting run over by a tank. Understandable. Maybe I was spoiled by StarCraft Marines, just shooting their gun reliably. You know, maybe that's a game I should play. Do we... Okay, I guess the last thing we do is cross the bridge? No, we keep going north, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Brothers, we go. Up we go. Target repositioning. So, for this mission's, uh, boss fight... Brothers, we go. Stop me, wagon boys! It's crushing time! There's Gawaza! Prepare for armored assault! Here it comes! Get out of the way! Fleshy bits! Under me, Craig's! The goal is to just not be in front of it, but it turns so it's always in front of it. Target those green skins! I guess I have a turret. I guess I can throw that down. Is I nothing? That is a thing. Dead. Up, up, guys. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. 
Get out from under the tank. <laughs> yeah, there's barely any time to do that. Next time it doesn't charge us, we'll last charge. Why are you even using backup path? Oh, let's go. There it is. Boy, it really gives you no time to react. Yeah, no. Just throw a grenade at it. Come on. Never mind. Camp is in ruins and the tech priest's dead. This is repositioning. I technically didn't die. None it's the best kind of didn't die. Of the righteous. So who died? Was it uh, Mr. Toilet Paper? No, whole squad stayed conscious. Oh. Huh. He kept on yelling at me about dead squad mates, so I guess uh, I guess it was just my. Oh, own. that's just for when you're taking like squad member casualties. And I definitely lost every single squad member. They got ran over by a truck. Uh. My slow guys could not dodge a truck. This is grave news, Commander. We cannot stop the Tyranids without the scans from the Astronomic Array. Do we have any leads on what happened to the Tech Priest reports? It seems the Array has attracted the attention of an orc named Ripper Splitter. He has stolen the data slate, giving the Array's location, and vanished into the deep jungle. Do we have Ripper Splitter's location? Not yet. But yeah, they're taking the name so seriously. I am uploading his last known position to your map display. Find and eliminate that orc, Commander. We cannot let him escape. Oh boy, time to assign points. I need health. I'm done. Okay, uh, you. Uh, keep shooting. That was easy. Did we get anything cool in terms of, uh, this stuff? Okay, melt a bomb. What do these do? Excellent anti-vehicle. I don't... That might have been good on that map instead of my turret. But we only just got that from that map, didn't we? Which? The Boulder Bombs. Oh, they're garbage. <laughs> okay. Uh, they, they should not be as garbage as they are. They're absolutely terrible. The damage they deal to tanks is laughable. We've had them for a bit. I haven't been using them specifically because they're so bad. Well, in that case, I'm going to use uh, the thing that increases range damage instead of the turret, because the turret doesn't really seem to uh, do a lot. That's right. reasonable. Like, to be fair, the turret got ran over by a tank that time. I don't think there's anything that could stop that. It sure didn't help any of my guys. It sure didn't help that turret. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. This accuracy might actually no. No, I need range damage. I shoot plenty of bullets. I don't need 10% more accuracy. I think I'm as good as I'm going to get then. Is our next mission here? Or are we going somewhere else? Commander, we have a priority target. A lictor has been spotted in a critical area and lictor? must be eliminated. This creature is a camouflage expert. Uh, and has likely our been next mission on the should and weakening our be here for just weeks. so that we can get the optional reward. Guard, but let Commander, me look at the overall map. Lictors are ferocious predators. Do not underestimate this opponent. Okay. So we're fighting Stealth Master. So it, it's like a chameleon, but also it has great big giant sights. Does the name Lictor mean anything? Is it derived? In terms of its literal meaning, not really. Okay. Like, I don't know, ghosts and reapers and banshees are all, like, ethereal beings that, like, roughly do what they are named, roughly. Uh-huh. But then you get this stuff like Lictor, and it's a, it's a, it's a rip gutter, and it's a... I'm just like, what? I'm sure it would make more sense if I actually knew what any of the units were. Now, you know what? It doesn't have to make sense. I know there's, all, like, I know all the, I know all the units in the Zerg tech tree, because I'm familiar with StarCraft and have played almost all of those games. I'm not familiar with a lot of the Warhammer stuff, because I haven't played all their games. I'm really not. It's like, does a Hydralisk mean anything? No. Does a Lictor mean anything? No. They just do what they do. Fun fantasy names sure are fun. Like a Koopa. If you really think down on it, a Koopa and a Goomba are just fantasy creatures. Mario is my favorite flavor of fantasy. Not really. It's a good flavor of fantasy, though. Oh, I thought you were still sorting inventory, so I was just rambling. I mean, I was. And now I'm done. Oh? Propaganda? Oh no, it's a Blair Witch Project video. Basically. I can't wait to get jump scared. Alright, that was actually a lot less jump scare than I thought it would be. Uh, let's see. Fawns posted a Wikipedia thing. A lictor, possibly from Latin lig uh, ligate, meaning There have been a find. series of vicious deaths in nearby communities, Commander. This beast must be responsible. Huh. Was a Roman civil servant. To account for. Who was an attendant and bodyguard to a magistrate who held Imperium. So why does that make them a stealth assassin expert? Repositioning. Great question. Oh, well, brothers, we go. I shall probably yeah, equip on, the flavor. Punching something. What is your problem, guy? Oh, you're affixed to cover, but the cover is too far away from it. I hate the system. Just get here. Affirmative. 
I have no destroyed. Good. The grenade worked this time. I swear I tried that last time and it did nothing. Oh, here they come. Straight into the suppression. It's straight into the rockets. I am rocketing my own team. Maybe that's why my units are dying so much. With me, brothers, advance. It's difficult to not rocket my guys. That's that's a lot. I uh let, let's just drop some artillery right on top of that. This is Move forward like three inches, please. They don't have grenades, right? Not really. No, get the tower. Under attack. Target killed. Where's my mouse? There it is. This is Abitus. Adjust your positions. Tactical Marines ready. Oh crap. Where are you? Under, under attack. Brothers, here we go. Abitus, under attack. You're there. You're there. Oh, that's a big guy. I see. That's why you're having problems. Oh, I'm completely surrounded and have a color. Color. Cover. Okay, once I found an ounce of cover, once I got found an ounce of cover, my accuracy went to a point where it was decent. Okay. Devastators. <sighs> yeah, you had a time there. I, uh, I just kind of sat and shot. That was rough. Yeah, how are you doing? I hate Carnifexes. I hate them. By the plus side, you tie them up in a place where I'm allowed to just spew bullets at them. You are better at trucks, I am better at whatever those are, I guess. Repositioning. Reposition. Getting cover, brothers. Oh, hey, guys. I can lure him up. Yes. Lure him up. Take a good position. I said a good. <sighs> it just do not go where I want to go. It's only a little bit entrenched. in the open. Just, just shoot, please. Forward. 
formation, brothers. This way, brothers. Did I disconnect? No, you're here. Okay. okay Sorry, okay. I... I sometimes have to very rapidly micromanage against Tyranids. Okay, I'm mostly just moving and throwing grenades whenever I can. So when I go, like, super quiet, it's because I'm frantically bouncing back and forth between Rex and Thaddeus. No, all the enemies died, and so movement on the screen stopped with the exception of the rain, and I thought that's why I was disconnected. Are, are we? Do we need to go any other directions to get any? No, this no, is the we place. already got those. No. Scan for movement. This Stay is a completely alert. optional mission. He's luring us in. Repositioning. There. Eliminate him. This is Abitus. Reposition. Incoming attack. Clear the area. What, where? Under attack. Where is it? There! He is targeting us! Get close to him to ruin his aim! How about this? Uh, oh, he yeeted me. Yep. He does that. Devastators on the enemy is that why he's called the Lictor? Is that because of the tongue? He is targeting us! Get close to him to ruin his aim! Well, that works. Heading out. Devastated. Uh, I need to get more second location then. Affirmative. Oh, that's a lot of garbage. No mercy for the misguided. The worst feeling is when I throw a grenade at that area and then you jump in. Avatus under attack. Avatus under attack. Yeah. Just artillery right there. The enemy. Just, but they're gonna keep coming from that way. No nation to it. Do that. Avatus. Holy fire. Tyranids attacking. Tactical squad. Make them the Emperor's light is my Destroy them. Okay. Dead at last. And one less killer loose among the populace. There are what happened more to the to body there? Place, unfortunately. It just blows up. No, it was. It was doing something on my end. Oh! I'm not sure I can describe accurately what- it, it, like, flopped on the ground, and then got hit by, like, a tiny little pebble, and then it started to, like, loop and spiral up into the sky until it went off the edge of the map. Hmm. Curious. Hey, look at the axe. It neat. Well done, Commander. These infiltrators destroy morale and make a stable defense impossible. The Lictor's corpse also helped us isolate more genetic information on the Tyranid swarm. We are very close to finding a hive with a pure genetic sample. Good to hear that it actually served a purpose in death. It served none in life. What was it like serving under Captain Thule in the Cronus campaign? Captain Thule was probably the best tactician I have seen. Victory was usually a certainty when he was in charge, and very few Blood Ravens died under his command. Agreed. There were no fool's errands or pointless suicide missions when Captain Thule was in command, and few others could have brought together such a strong defense on Calderas with what he had to work with. It weighs heavy on my conscience that we failed him on Calderas. It weighs on all of us, Thaddeus. More heavily than you can know. Oh, things seem okay here.
I was like, well, actually, I was time looking. Like, this planet section looks good. I know you have a schedule to maintain. We should probably be done with story missions for now. Okay. But just to be funny, would you like to try out what this game's multiplayer is like? Oh, boy. Uh, we can give it a go. We can give it a go. So I, I guess I... Okay. I so, accidentally hold close the whole game. That was... Multiplayer. Play against CPU? Detected that this is your first time playing multiplayer because I, I never boot this game up unless I'm playing it with you. Do you... <laughs> you don't need to play against the computer because we're going to play against the computer. No, I don't need to do this right now. Okay. All right, I'll wait for you to invite me then, because, okay, that's a posture and a hydrate. Thank you, Fonz, for helping. Oh, goodness, my hip just popped. <laughs> uh, Remember to stretch out your together. hand. He found chicken and beef taco. Chicken, beef, and beef taco. Extra beef in that taco. Ah, oh, the new oven redeems are weird, aren't they? It is entirely possible to get three of the same ingredient inside of your final result. Do you want a taco with beef, beef, and extra beef? Sure. But no, today we got chicken. <sighs> you know tacos sound good. Obviously, I can't get them right now because nothing's open after midnight anymore. Okay, I'm sitting back down. I think I can open Steam menus without... Okay. I should be able to just join you. No. That's not how this works. Fortunately, Steam is functioning now. So if Steam had been functioning when we started this on the stream one, uh, I would have been able to be the driver when we go to missions. But no, uh... Everything was updating when this began. Oh, Jade redeemed the oven, but it didn't play. It didn't play. Uh, if I alt-tab over to Sammy... If I alt-tab over to Sammy to force it to go... Boltish looked into the oven. It's soup! It's soup! No, I don't want to quit the game. I just all tabbed. Weird that the other oven broke. I think it might have something to do with the way that Sammy is reading the uh, things inside chat. Like, as a test, as a test, I'm gonna see if stick works. If stick works, everything else should work. Stick. We got zero stick. It works. Weird. Weird. Wait, where did where did it go? The warhammer closed itself. No, it didn't. Okay, it's just okay. How's it going, sir? Good. I'm just setting something up real quick. Okay. Is <laughs> I'm just sitting on the main menu wondering, like, when will the action happen? Uh. No, I don't want a ranked match. Unranked plus some game. All right, okay. Uh, private. Oh goodness. 
Okay, alright, so this game has all these factions, but it's not all the factions that exist inside this universe. Okay. So you can play as a guy that you do in campaign, you can play as a... Huh. Huh. Alright, alright, this is gonna be good. Where are the orc clans are available to play in multiplayer in this game? We have Bad Moons Clan, Big Choppa's Warband, Blood Axe's Clan, Death Skull's Clan, Evil Sons Clan, with a Z, so you know it's edgy. <laughs> Gil, get rich as lads. Goft's Clan, that one's a little bit lacking. Gold Tooth's Warband, Snake Bites Clan. And Speed Freak Cole. Ah, uh, of course, red is the speed. I think I also remember hearing that blue was lucky. Like, they're not the fast ones, but they're able to not die because they're lucky and don't get exploded or something. Wow, these orcs have a lot of teeth. In a good way. Commando Knob, War Boss, and the Beck Boy. Well, wow, that's a... You sure do just have a Tesla rod stuck in your head, don't you? Does it do anything for you? Wow, he's even eating bolts. I'm not sure how to feel about that. They look neat? I do think that these look neat. Oh, good. If these are too scale, why are these only so much bigger? Why do you get a Cthulhu face? <laughs> I don't know. All right, it's having to be connected there. The orcs have something like reality warping powers. Purple things gain invisibility. Yeah, like, they all collectively believe something so hard that reality is shaped so that that is the way that that thing is. If anybody else were to pick up an orc's gun, it doesn't work. But if an orc believes that it is capable of shooting, it shoots. A metal box can be a rocket launcher in an orc's hand. But for anybody else, it's just some scrap. It's one of the few parts of Warhammer 40k's writing I genuinely think is good. What, orcs? Yeah. Yeah, orcs are... 40k orcs actually work according to the internal assumptions of the story. Okay, so what am I doing here? Pick whatever you feel like going with. Uh... You need to own... Dawn of War you need to own the DLC to be able to play as Chaos. Fair enough! So I can only play as four factions. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh... I think I'm feeling Farseer. That sounds like a shaman kind of thing. Where are my abilities as a Farseer? Uh, let's see, web white gate so we can teleport people around. Far side to actually see stuff. Summon Seer Council to spawn guys. And Elric Storm. Great, large psychic. Okay, yeah, so, uh, so damage, support, teleport, C. Alright, that seems good. Let's give that a go. Wait, what is this? Hydra's Chasm. Oh, we're both the same. Okay, maybe... Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you know Take what? your time. This one has a bolt in their mouth. You know what? Yeah, let's let's try... Uh... It has an ability called Wardaka. That could be good. 
It could be good. You want rocks? You know what rocks fall? Sure. Uh. Yeah. Does SM Orc still work in the chat? Is that still a bit uh, Twitch TV emote, or is that just a default Twitch emote? Okay, what do we got here? Flash what am I actually gets. even doing? Psycho boys, shooter boys, looters, boys. Uh, uh, I think I need more shooters. Flash S. I hear you. I'm going. Is there gathering in this Small game? Adjustment. There are resource points. I see. Storm. Big blast in troops here. Mm, fine. Where's the nearest fight? Okay. That's the way! Some of the Allied boys just picked up a victory point for us! Okay, so you guys. You guys are not good too. I have no idea what I'm doing. You might just be playing the game solo for a bit. I, I, uh. Whatever. We need Sparky Power to do that, boss! Alright, so we have that, you have that, okay. I think we should take that spot, one. Got that. They got that, okay. You're fighting something, okay. Maybe I should help. Shooters ready for you, boss. That elder force here thing is on our team! That's the way! So, don't do that, okay. Flash est gets. Okay, so that's my get out button. Oh, it's fire of the cousin! Understood. Nice sparkly shot. Cool, all right. Shiny, sparkly Eldar. Sees you. Get away from our fighting gates. Well, don't get them. <laughs> They're not. Oh, my guys really want them. Nope, 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 nope. Start hiking, lads. Oi, we spinned. Moving. Shooters ready for your boss. Oh. Come on. That's the best they can do. Can't we have a truck? Shooters we'll here. France. That boss here and our team, she's back in a camp! Lazy, That's that is. That's what you want. Got me, Shooter. Life is good. Boy, boys, we're going to have to push this wheel like a getting all shut off. Okay, I need more. Can't be done. Not my fault. Uh, guys? Shooter's ready for your boss. Okay, you guys. Building. Oh, hello. Hey, there. Shooters here. I've been doing stuff. I'm not sure what I've been doing, but uh, things are lit up blue on the map now, so I think that's good. Flash est gets. I think I need to go back to a thing that'll heal me though. All these boys says we can't hit them, boss. Flash est gets. Shooters ready for you, boss. Out. We go. It looks like we're losing a little bit. 
That's the way. I thought I had this thing captured, but I guess I didn't stand by it enough. No, it's some colored us. Let's try getting over to that then. My ears are complaining that they want to trust. So that's ready. Coming at us. Leave that and move. Some allied boys got a power node. Last est, kids. We're here. They're there. My shooters are still shooting. That's good. Did that make more guys? I did make more guys. I should probably use them. I've never played this before. I have no idea what any of the units I'm using are. But. But I'm trying. I'm trying, okay? How, how easy do you have it set? I have to ask. Uh, one normal, one easy. Okay, thank you for giving me easy. I have no idea which is which. Lockdown's loaded, boss. Can't we have a truck? We'll need some grants. Shooters here! Shooters here! Uh, we will have this point. Yeah, boss. Shoot it, rub it, boys. I didn't stand by that uh, long enough to cap here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Big I can fix that. Troops. Walk in his front rocks! I'm pretty sure I outnumbered them, and so I will be able to win this. Yeah, we win. We win. There was enough of us that were good. Stop chasing, you idiots! Okay, so we have this. You guys move up. We captured that. Okay, you move up. Can I upgrade this yet? I can. Okay, uh, I want... Tank pluses to... Uh, can I get... Weird boy? That sounds neat. Need more power. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, turret, please. No? Okay. Banner? No! Shooters here! I need to get my guy back to a thing that heals. Where? What heals? Is it only base? Only base. I see. Ready? Okay. Shoot a most Health is going up. That's good. Uh, we need sparky power to do that, boss. All right, give me more trick. Is that good? I don't know. Weird guy, sure. This better be worth me while. This better. All right, I think we advance as much as we could. Shoot a most bigger at your service. Shoot a most bigger at your service. Moving. Sock, we're losing a victory point. 
Where's the turret? There it is. No! I'm Yeah, yeah. away, please. Seize your layers, not legs. Okay. It's a truck. Drive over them. This place just got a lot weirder. Fuck's away! Some of the Allied boys are waiting for them! Drive over them! Drive over the pole! Boys, we like to get no shot at! Shift Honestly, driving the truck is kind of fun. I'm. Not talking a lot because I'm focusing so much, but uh, and yes, Fonz, I did beat that SM1. Thank you. Uh, I need some more guys. I just need. Please, boss, save our camp. All alone. Oh, the truck has a gun. I've been using it wrong. Shift gears. Be in control of the three. I need more groups. The two trucks right, roll right up. Take the point back. Uh, let's see. Stick bomb. That sounds good. I think this is important. How about I throw that at you? I've got me a natural throwing arm. Okay, you got the thing. Okay, okay. I'm figuring it out. I think I need that thing over there. Moving. Let's drop a turret. Some allied boys got a there. I hear you. I'm going. Put the car over here. Okay, you guys got me up. Throw your sticks here. I got to be a natural throw. Come on! That's the best you can do! Stun back, huh? Okay. Oh, I let my guy die. And I let my car die. Well, that was very unfortunate of me. Maybe I want another car. The car actually seems very good. Oi! Which pinned? Oi! Boys working for one of the bosses we like are getting all shut off! Come on! That's the best I can do! Those Eldar is closing in! Right, I sure do have a lot of my army just standing around doing nothing. If I could just get you against the door. Okay. He's practically right there. Oi, get trooping then. Ugh. We's got a scared on better like this. So please come get on. Oh, Zap is fun. I like Zap. We've tangled up proper. Oi, boys! What moment? Warp vomit. Well, come on! That's the best you can do! No, you do! You can't hurt me! Oh, Turn around and get that. We spinned! Look! That eyes! That's a way! 
I really have no idea what I'm doing. Sorry I'm not talking a lot, but like this is a lot. Can't do that without more tape! This bell be worth me. Mushy smashing. And Anna got a requisition point for showers now. Joke! I I think so too! Oi! No hiding inside if you Get up and chase all the Okay, that's that's working. That's working. I think. Don't toy with me. Clear it up. Or I think I need to recapture that. I need you guys to recapture that. Oh, thank you, Foss. <laughs> this is a lot. Alright, so I got this now? Okay, that's good. That's good. I think I can just teleport up, drop a turret, and then leave. All alone, that's what you want. You got the best on the road. Oh, you're going, sir. We are building momentum. This better be worth I'm on my way. That oits! In the thick of the house. Coming after our place. Those boys all dead now. Watch this. You all done? Losing a power note to the enemy boss! Are we losing power? This better be worth I got it. Oh, it's on your right. Okay, Moving. all right. Walk in his back rocks! Now the truck is doing their job. Watch your team. Have you guys done this? Let's smash it! Or I'll hide them. Capture that. Time to shoot a bucket ready for me. Look by, uh... You have to do this for me! Okay, so they're not coming up the middle anymore. Shoot, shoot, damn it! I'll put a shooty thing right there! Oh, I need to get... Oh, it's set up this the turret. Okay. That's why the turret's not shooting. That makes sense. I just ran over my own guys. Good job, me. What you howling? Attack! Yeah! Okay, ready, boss. What's we waiting for? Rolling! Attack. I think you're ready for me, Tyesh! Okay, you guys love the captain. I think I need infantry oh, captain. No I think that's what goes wrong. and ready to be taken! There better be loot. You shoot me. Okay. I shoot you. Ooh. Game accent on. You're flanking. I'm flanking. Oh. <laughs> Gamer accent on. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. I. I have no idea. No idea what I'm doing. Give me. Give me a tank. Give me. Give me many tanks. I have no idea. I am so lost. This power node is mine. Don't be touching it. Oh, look, 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 look. Keep the truck alive. 
Okay. Uh, back to base. Do I have that tank yet? No, not yet. Okay. Oh, hi! Hi! Alright, they got my shredder dead. Uh... Am I not making it? Oh, I'm not making it because I lost it. Dang damn it. Dang damn it. Oh. That's me, don't worry. No, I lost my guy who was there too. That's right, I think my entire army is dead. Yes, my entire army is dead. Well, uh, shooters it is. He's all out of riches, boss! Don't see how much I have. So which way? Like I'm not sure where on the UI that is. Over there? Right. I'm going. I jump to shoot. Oi, you got one? That's grot work. Oi, boys working for one of the bosses we like are getting all shut off. Those Eldars closing in. Yes, they are. This velvet wolf may work all alone. All right. Forever. Oh, the hell does Marcy a thingy on the team? Change your spirit, yeah? Seconds. This better be worth so more. I. On my way to get it. Yeah, your end not doing so hot now either. Good cover to block this. No problems, Chief. <coughs> what? This better be good around there, so attack it. We're good. I ordered it a great to this! And a shot. Yet? No. Won't work. Also, I like this walker. I like the walker thing a lot. Shoot a most bigger at your serve. Almost got that back. Almost got that back. Right now. 
Okay, I think I see where my resources are now. That's good. Got it. Shoot a mouse, bitch. Boys, boys, hey. I can get no shot at. Still want this over here. I uh, don't rely on that infantry over. All alone. That looks important. Time to clear out the riffraff. Let's make a tank. <laughs> okay, so you guys are now control three. I see something coming up behind my group. That's Not fine. Dead, loaded. Come on. Not the best thing to do. That guy is gone. That's fine. Oh, I really Please like these rockets. Well, that was fun. But now I'm nearly dead. Maybe let's go back to base and heal. I'm just not able to hit those guys. Some of the Move attack! Get away from us, you! I've met boys going up the level! Up again, I guess? They ain't marching anywhere now! This better be. Okay. You shoot me! I shoot you! Shoot a moment! What you want? Just said. I am! Shoot a turret already! I'm on the way, sir. So it's ready. Doing okay, I think. Oh, I see you. I always paint. paint. This boy's going to retreat. Over there. They're coming at us. Yeah, we have no cover standing out in the open defending the sink here. We're just getting ripped up. This better be one, but we ain't even. I shoot you! No. Someone wants to fix that building. Can I get... Uh, can I get the tank again? The tank didn't do so good the first time, but... Can't be done. Not my fault. I think the banner's still in peace, that's good. One. That's just like this. One. Well, they got this covered. Walk in his for drops! How are you guys doing? Not the best. Right. But the banner's still here helping me. Okay. Oh, you're nearly dead. Go on back, go on back. This better be worth okay, so we got that back. Oh, no. All right, okay. He's losing a power load to the enemy, boss! Shoot a man. So you're not controlling for it. Can you just... We should take that. No. Did you guys get him? Finally. Something to okay. shoot. I have something to shoot. And four up. Okay. Put on control for the big things. You're here now. You're control for three. Okay, so one, two, three. Force here. Okay, let's bring four over here. Let's use the gun. Take out that tower. Okay, I have some of my brain. I have some of my brain again. Okay, you guys go back with this. This better be good. My guys go here. Not Put another banner down. They shoot it through the stuff. Yeah, you guys doing okay? 
Tank is okay. You guys go capture. I think at that. Let's make something cheap. I just need you guys to go and get that node. This is weird. This is really weird. This is unlike anything I've ever played. How are you doing, sir? Where's the nearest fight? Doing well. Let's get up here. Shoot at the rock. You guys are still capturing. That's good. You're still defending. That's good. Oh good, they came from behind. I don't have oh no, they're oh they're crowd controlling my turrets, I see. Okay, you Just need to get me over here. You need to go check for that. Because the cheap units died. Okay. Maybe some shooters. We ain't got enough taste, boss! Is that you? Yeah, that's you. Okay. Got that defended. What about turrets? Just got stumped. Yeah, there's the turrets. Okay, more shooters. I think I can send my tank to go get that. Maybe my Where's my tank? Yeah, you can go All get that. Alone. Yeah, they're not getting through the tank. I was The banner up here. Over here. Four, four, stop. Four, back up. Tank blew up. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We have a truck. We'll need some rods. That's a lie! Some of the Allied boys just picked up a victory point for us! Well... Uh... More shooters. Shooters ready. Why don't you play? Okay. Oh, you're all shooters, I see. Where you Yeah, I really have no idea what I'm doing. You're honestly doing good. Am I? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. Legitimately. I feel like all I'm doing is standing in the same territory over and over again. Stay here and guard this. Focus ready, boss. What's we waiting for? Gunfire. Got it here. Focus ready. Focus running, boss. What we waiting for? Focus ready. Focus ready. 
shoot a motion. This better be worth more one. Jump around over here. That's that. Oh, get the Eldar's back from that. I'll be waiting to get it. Let's capture that. Go on around right. You're, you're just gonna go and die right in the enemy base. This is fine. You're keeping him distracted. Never mind, you're not doing a very good job of that. You need to go back home. I need to get more production. I need another tank. I need another truck, because they're fast. It's good. Might as well here. Oh, get that. Car. Drive. Shoot a mighty coming at Whatever. I need to get back in the action. This again. I have one ability, I can use it, and they hate it, and I love that. Nope, 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 that tower is bad. Nope, nope, tower bad. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. What is it, shoot me? Oh, I shoot you! Happens a lot, that does. You were gonna die. I can't afford that again. We gotta move up. Probably gonna uh, lose that again. That's okay. I see they are continuing to lightning storm you. Yeah, that's fine. There. Stop back. Tank's doing a good job. The truck is doing a good job. Goodness sake. I need more little guys. He's all out of riches, boss. Being a pimpolet, you expect the other side to pay one red boy to left. This is a big one. You guys, capture nonsense. 
I don't have this. You guys gotta go get it. Right. Okay, I see, I've been really quiet this entire time. I've been real quiet. I'm really conscious of that right now. Right at the truck back. You guys got that captured, good, move up. You guys got this captured, good, move up. Ah. I feel like I'm playing terribly, and I know I am, but... I don't know what it is, like... Get the thing. March right up to it. Use the rampage. Get in. You stab it. There. All done. Okay. That's ready. Move up. Move up. Capture. Okay. It's running. That's good. Go after something else. Move it. Okay. Okay. Teleport up. Can you think while he's busy? Loot. I can. Excellent, Mercy excellent, Mercy. excellent. But we ain't even. Right. I would like more trucks. Truck fire. This better be worth my while. Oh, I have a lot of buttons here that I've not been it. using. What you want with it? I'm working on other so power nodes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Moving. Not your new requisition boy thingy, do ya? Okay, we lost them all, that's fine. Got another truck. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, I guess I just lost Susan because I lost Susan, that's fine. I'm on this way. Okay, job. That's fine. No, I don't need that. I need uh, more of these shooter guys. More shooter guys. Okay. We got that back. Cross the gap. You can get that. You can move up and start blocking this. This. I probably should have got my melee inside the truck in order to ride up, but here we are. We need more bits and riches for that. This better be worth me while. I'm enjoying the units I'm using, but I know I'm not using them right. One shoot iron, two grots in a can! Come here! That's the way! Some of the Allied boys just picked up a victory point for us! Oh, we, we win, I guess? We win! I don't we feel controlled like enough win. points long enough. Oh, is that one? So it's not. It's not destroy the enemy base, it's King of the Hill. Yeah. Oh! Okay, I was like, okay, alright. 
if it was destroyed the enemy base, I just felt like I was constantly losing because yeah, I was able to get the points back regularly, but I was never able to push into the enemy base. I feel like it's any- sure game mode. So there is a destroy the enemy base objective. Okay. It commonly takes multiple hours. Oh. Or obviously you did the best there because you know what you're doing. I did worse than the normal computer. <laughs> uh. Uh. I don't know. You contributed as much to the points about as I did. I just didn't build units quickly enough, I guess. Which, like, that's hotkey memory, assigning memory, knowing what the units actually do. Mm Mm-hmm. Listen, I just wanted to give you a chance to experiment with, like, the overall game. I see. And turn you loose. And meanwhile, I just sat in my little corner mass-producing Wraith Lords. Slowly, but it's a strategy that lets you gradually build up momentum. Okay. I, uh... I tried making shooting guys, and I needed shooting guys in order to be able to capture the points. Mm-hmm. But more, more often than not, I just needed trucks. I didn't realize the trucks had guns. They do. They're suppressing guns, too. And I also, like, between trucks, the chain, the, the uh, buzzsaw walker things that make me, that, I, I don't know, and the tanks, like, I didn't feel like the, the infantry was any good. Which is weird, because, like, aren't orcs supposed to be really good at infantry? Uh, it's, it's interesting. In this game specifically, uh, orcs are definitely best at mech play. Okay. Um, and that's mostly because as far as infantry, they don't have a lot of good tools. Uh, like I tried. To there's not a lot of benefit in this particular game to flooding the map with infantry. Mm. Be- unless you have infantry that is specifically good at killing armor. Because one armored unit can maul entire groups of infantry. I see. Which is exactly what we've been seeing in the campaign. Where we don't have the option of flooding the map, right? Yeah, we just use our super armored space marines. And so, the faction in Dawn of War 2 specifically that has the best infantry overall, besides the space marines, obviously, is the Eldar. Oh. Because what they have going for them is they have multiple specialized infantry. I see. Whereas the orcs mostly have general purpose infantry. Yeah, I was noticing that, like, the tooltips are, this fights in melee, this shoots. And I'm like, okay, I don't need the melee thing. I need to shoot. If I need something in melee, I, I use the thing, the mech with the buzzsaw. I only the need orcs, to sh- big I only advantage. Need to sh- to capture a point. Sorry. I just need to capture the point. Only the guys who are on the ground could do that. No, the orcs' big advantage is that they have a very wide variety of vehicles that serve different roles. So the trucks are good for general anti infantry purposes, the tanks are good for one, being pretty unkillable, and two, killing other vehicles the cans of various sizes are can be specialized either to be anti-infantry or anti-armor as an aside as a brief aside why do these games never let us look at the tech tree in the game i don't know this game's tech tree is like stupid as well where, so that it's such that it's just like research the next one okay as soon as you have enough money research the next one you get one building you can yeah, really tell that the game was designed to be a campaign rpg with rp rts controls 
rather than a dedicated strategy game. And while I think the campaign is brilliantly designed and very well executed, just as a game goes... Uh, One of the plot fallacies that just Warhammer has in general. Yeah. The... The actual multiplayer is really bad. <laughs> like... What you just experienced, Bolt, yeah? is what it is always feeling like. Oh. It does well, not get better. It just feels like I'm always losing. It just yes. feels like I'm, like, it never, like, even when I pushed the enemy all the way up into their base, it didn't ever feel like I was winning. Ever. Yeah. It's because there's no base building, and there are very, very few resource points on the map, which means that all of those resource resource points are weighted much more heavily. So if the AI just has one or two, they can still make an effective comeback. So all of the RTS staples, such as like damaging your enemy's economy, damaging their vital buildings, or even just wiping out their army, the only thing you ever cost them is time. That's it. Yeah. And while theoretically that makes for a game that is tense and like it's always anybody's game, in practice it just makes games that are law. <laughs> I'm also realizing I didn't use any of the cooldowns ever. You don't have to. Like they seem good. Like, especially that uh, Eldar Psychic Storm thing. The Eldritch Storm. So, fun fact. Uh, the top level cooldown is the same for all factions. Oh. It's just an AoE. Just it's just a big AoE that kills everything in the radius. Like, that looked really good. Like, the enemy used it on me a lot. <laughs> but I never and used mine once. I didn't know how. The end one is also the only one... Broadly speaking, that's worth using. I see. It because it's really game. expensive, but also it can wipe a map temporarily. If a opponent has all their stuff in the same place, like say if they've just retreated into their base to try to recover, and then you hit them with that, yeah, you can the kill their entire army and then just smack their base with impunity. All right. For 15 seconds. That's... that's silly. <laughs> that's silly. Yeah! So, as much as I've been like, this game is well made, I also wanted to take a moment to be like... Hey. It has problems. It has a handful of problems. The multiplayer in the custom games are really bad. It's really badly balanced. Like I said, Eldar players can just dominate the map by mass producing one unit that's not even their end game unit. It's in the middle of attack level. Yeah, the truck seems like it was a good unit for me. Uh, Space Marines, when they're playing, can legitimately just field nothing but Space Marines. I see. It's that they have tanks, they don't need them. Regular Space Marines with plasma rifles in this game because they reduce armor on hit uh, can, in sufficient numbers, overwhelm anything. And because it's a Space Marine's basic unit, well, <laughs> they can do it very cost effectively. I see. The main thing stopping them from doing this is, again, the vulnerability of infantry of any kind to one or two vehicles. And so it's not as bad as Eldar players gaining momentum and momentum and momentum with increasingly higher counts of Wraith Lords that can pull back and heal themselves. <laughs> it's still not good.
If Tyranids have an I win strategy, I don't know what it is. They seem really hard. Yeah, I... I have no idea. I only vaguely understood maybe what Orcs were about. I thought their goal was like, get 5 billion infantry and then suddenly they're good. Nope. Tanks. Tanks and cars. I thought it was about the whole communal psycho thing. No. Cars. Okay. Alright. Completely misunderstood orcs. Maybe that's how they work in the fantasy setting. I don't know. I really don't know. Here's the thing. I will say with confidence that the orcs are absolutely intended, in theory, to be an infantry faction that has good vehicles, but it's not vehicles forward. In the broader 40k stuff, there are other factions by design that are meant to be very vehicle forward. The orcs are meant to be a quantity over quality faction. But then Tyranid came in and then they took that niche. No, not so much that, so much as because of the way this game overall works. You can't do a quantity over quality build in this game. Hmm. It just doesn't really work. Because things that are cheap and can be made in large quantities can also be killed very, very quickly. Whereas, to go back to the strategy I was just using, those lightning storms? Yeah. My Wraith Lords can, sur can reliably survive one, and it is at least a five minute cooldown before they can be hit by one again. Ah. So big high health units always win. This isn't as much of a problem in the campaign because, well. You're playing the big high health units. Yeah. If you. Ignore the fact that Thaddeus is made of paper for some goddamn reason. <laughs> we are the high health units, and it's an RPG under the hood. So we're meant to overcome vast numerical disadvantages. In the multiplayer, it doesn't work so well at all. All right. So, I guess that's my TED Talk on this game. <laughs> well, with that, I think I'm ready to end the stream. How, how about you? Yep. I All right. I I'm satisfied. I think we did a good job. Next and time, we'll go to another planet, I guess. And we'll continue to fight the same four factions because I don't have the DLC to face the fifth one. It's okay. As I'm thinking about it, I don't know if we want to do Chaos Rising. We'll see when we get there. We'll see. We'll see. And remember, everyone... Later!